Sticking with our theme of repairs this week, I've got a repair to share with you today. Hopefully, this is on our Dyson vacuum cleaner that Clark is showing off here. As you can see, I have it taken apart because there's some pieces missing off. This is actually a Dyson DC65, and Cody bought this, I think, four years ago, exactly four years ago, because this is supposedly a really great vacuum for pet hair, and it has been. It's done amazing work, and in real terms of age, considering how much we run this because we have Roxy Bear, and you guys know that have a lab just how bad hair gets. And this it, vacuum's probably like 10 years old at this point in reality. And this broke off too. Yeah, we have some broken parts in this. Great vacuum, the problem is this whole operation right here, the thing that kind of clips this on here and also releases the, I don't know the technical terms for this stuff, but it releases this door that allows all of the dog hair to come out. That's completely given up on life. And I was really trying to figure out what I need to do here. I was thinking about buying a whole new canister, which the canister alone is like $80 for one of these. This is like a, I think a $400 vacuum cleaner, which this, is a little insane. And this sucks the dog hair into here. Is that how it works? Yeah, it sucks it into here. It certainly does suck. Anyway, I did a little bit of researching online to see if I could replace just what this red part is right here and the piece that broke off down here. All this kind of works together. And, and don't this, forget this long piece. Oh yeah, that was the piece that we absolutely needed. These two pieces right here. These are very important to make this spring right there work and for all of this to work. I went online and did a little bit of research and Amazon came through with a replacement part. It's a third party manufactured piece and I'm hoping that it works and we're gonna try it out here in this video for and you. And I wanna see, is it tiny? It is, yeah. When I started doing my search on this, I wanted to go through Dyson to get the replacement part. I figured it'd be easy enough, but I could not find it, which is why I had to go to Amazon and go through a third party. I'm thinking maybe Dyson's strategy isn't to sell you a $15 part like it's inside here. I think they want to sell you a whole new vacuum cleaner. And I don't want to give up on this one just yet, because it still works. I just need this piece that's in here, so let's cut into it. Can I hold it? Yeah. And I'm... put it in here? You're going to fix it? Yeah. Okay, let me see what's in here first. This is the first time I'm, I'm even looking at it. I'm going to fix the things. This is it right here. Here's a little comparison. This is the new one we got, and this is the old one. You can see how it's a little bit of a different color. That's a little see-through. Yeah, can Maybe the... I'm, I'm, let's open it. Baby cute, baby cute, daddy's a cutie, baby cute. I like your unboxing music, your unbagging music. Cute. There's our pieces. So cute. I love daddy. Hi, Tiger. Get over here. I love daddy. He's the best guy ever. He's a ghost. And he's my best buddy ever. And I, and I love him because he's so cute and so remote and he's so cute. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Fantastic song. Mm. You're the best. You can help me fix this now? Yeah, okay. you, you're just so cute. You're just so cute. We're going to take this part out for now. You want to hold on to that? This piece I'm putting in here is the most important piece because this Thing right here controls the whole mechanism and that was the part that Clark had earlier. We were okay operating without the handle thing that's on the top here but once this broke off that's when I pretty much had to do something. It should be as simple as just kind of pushing this through as much as I don't know if it wants to go through. That little nub there is messing me up. Uh oh. I think I just messed that spring up. Yeah that's not good. I'm having one heck of a time with this thing. Let's try it like this. <gasps> Oh, can it work this way? Oh no, what's happening? Um, nothing I don't think. What are you doing? Struggling. Why are you struggling? Because this doesn't want to go in. Oh, I can help you with that. Can you? Yeah, I'm a rescue helper. Uh, Yay, you did it! No. Nope. <laughs> I'm glad to be home with you, Daddy. I'm glad to be home with you too, even if I'm having a heck of a time here. Mm. Thank you, baby. <gasps> I did it! I got it in there. All right. Whoa. Now. You got in the spring in his mouth? Let's hope that the spring still works. It looks like it is. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm trying to get this to go inside where that spring is there. It's in but it is one heck of a tight fit. <laughs> Clark man, look at this. That's exactly Yay! the way it's supposed to work. At least I think so. In theory, it's supposed to kind of work like that, but it doesn't seem to be lined up all that well. Maybe once I get the other part and stuff on, it'll be a little bit better. This next part should be pretty easy. That kind of just slides in like that and 
That should be it. Yeah, it's finished. It kind of worked a little bit. It's fixed, them all. Ready? Ready? Watch this. Not as smooth as it used to be. Uh. Oh, that was a bad idea. Not the smartest thing I've ever done, but at least I got this thing fixed as far as I can tell. It's sort of working. Oh, that definitely worked. <laughs> so we just seal that back up. Oops. Whoops. I can lock it over. I can't fix it back over. Thanks, boss. Uh. Maybe one-handed isn't the best idea here. There it is. It's fixed back together again. I think it's good, Clark, man. Thank you, You're welcome, vacuum. Oh. Press this button. It works. There's a part you're forgetting. What? We gotta plug it in. Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's see if it works. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah! We're back in business, Clark man. Anyway. Yeah, well, you back in yourself, Daddy Pig. But that gets all that disgusting stuff out of there. Ugh. Oh boy. <laughs> What's my honest opinion on this repair? Well, for fixing a $400 vacuum with a $15 piece, it did the job because prior to this, I couldn't even clip this on, so my vacuum wouldn't work at all. As for the quality of the parts, and this is kind of what I read on the reviews on Amazon, the quality's not great but I'm kind of, I was kind of stuck with what I had here. This doesn't quite line up that great and it doesn't work nearly as good as it did originally, but it's at least a Band-Aid on the problem and it saved us from buying a new one of these canister things and trying to find all the parts and stuff, but I may end up having to do that anyway just to make this thing top notch. Last thing I want to do though is spend $400 on a new vacuum. That doesn't sound good, does it? Yeah. No, it doesn't. We don't want to spend $400. Kids these days think money grows on trees. Yeah, and hang your pants on it. All right, on that, thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you updated on the repair here and how it manages over time. Hoping it holds up pretty well. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.